Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you an in-depth tutorial on replay decompression. Quickly, I wanted to give credit to AquaPlays for making the current status of Fortnite modding video. That was where I found the Fortnite decompression tool. During the process of creating this video, AquaPlays uploaded a much simpler tutorial, so if this gets too complicated, go ahead and check it out. All download links and websites used in this video will be linked down in the description. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing you need is the Fortnite Time Vault. In it, it contains the replay decompression tool. You download it by going to code, then downloading the zip file. You're going to need to extract the zip file in order to use it. Some computers may already have this installed, but you're going to need to get .NET Core 3.1 runtime. You're going to need to download the 86 version, not the 64. It will not work on the 64, trust me, I've tried it. The final thing you will need is you're going to need HXD. This is the hex editor, and that is how you will edit the replay files and swap some of the skins and cosmetics. Now you're going to want to go over to this Google Sheet of all the different cosmetics. I will leave a link down in the description, so make sure you go check it out. The first thing you need to do is you're going to need to do Control F. That will allow you to search for this cosmetic that you want. For this tutorial, I will be using 8-Ball, the FNCS Pickaxe, Insignia, and an unreleased Golden Umbrella. Once you've found the ID of the item that you want, you're going to want to go ahead and copy and paste that into a notepad. You're going to want to copy and paste the number into the search bar so you can find another cosmetic that has the same number of characters. The cosmetic also has to be the same size and gender. For example, you can't have a large skin match the medium sized skin. Some examples of large skins include Meowsles, Brutus, Penny, and some examples of some medium sized skins are Midas and pretty much all of them. You're going to want to repeat these steps for the rest of the cosmetics you want to swap. If you want a specific style of a cosmetic, I'm not 100% sure how to swap it in the replay, however, what I found is if you wear a cosmetic with the same amount of styles and swap it to the style you want to have on your swapped skin, you can go ahead and do that. You now need to record the replay with the cosmetics you want to swap. Here's the time lapse of the gameplay used for this tutorial. You're going to want to look into the Fortnite time belt we made earlier. You're going to want to find the replay decompression tool. You're going to want to find the replay that you wanted to decompress, and you're going to want to type the number that's associated with it. As you can see, the replay we are currently using associates with the number 14. After you're finished dumping the file, you need to go to the location specified. You now need to drag the replay into the demos folder. Hey. 
You now need to go into the demos folder and open the replay using HXD. You now need to open up the notepad containing all the IDs for the cosmetics you are going to want to swap. You want to click on the text in the replay file, then copy the code name for the skin or cosmetic you want to swap. For skins, you're going to want to keep searching until you find the path where it leads to the head or the body. For skins, you do not want to replace the CID or HID. If you want, you are also able to swap just the body or just the head. In this tutorial, we will just be swapping the body, so there's no need to swap this head. As you can see, we have found it. We're going to want to copy and paste the code name of the other skin onto the skin that we have. For most other cosmetics, you're going to want to do the same thing, however, don't look for head or body, just look for the one that doesn't have the ID attached to it. If you're swapping a glider, just replace all mentions of the code name. There are a few things that I still don't know about this, like how to swap emotes and some NPC skins. However, once I have figured it out, I will make another update video. Once you finish editing, you can just exit out, don't forget to save, and then you will be able to view it in Fortnite without recompressing it. You are also able to rename it so that it's easier to find in the game. Now, the edited replay file.
That's it for the video. If you liked the video, then please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.